Hi, Cancer. This is your weekly read, okay? This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Cancers. Thank you all who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. A lot. Please like the uh, post. Even if you didn't get a message from it, it may be for someone else or another Cancer. Uh, like the video because it can circulate. If you're not able to purchase extended readings, personal readings, do what is free to support the channel. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, it means a lot. Okay, so let's jump into this. Cancer, your energy is try not to take on somebody else's energy, and theirs is all over the place. You have three of swords. The Princess of Swords, the Sacred Clown, which is the Fool, and the Death card, the Seven of Pentacles. For some of you, it's a complete ending to a relationship. And it might be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, it could be Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio. This relationship um, has been ending for, for quite some time with the Death card here. Uh, I think you're going to communicate. You, you're now going to speak about things that you did not say. Uh, regret not saying things. Now, it, it all resurfaces. It comes up. Uh, how you are communicating to them is that you, you want to separate. You want to divorce. You, your heart and your mind is torn here. Or someone's doing this with you. Aries in particular, Scorpio, or an air sign. Uh, we have everybody here, but um, except for, yeah, we got everybody here. Um, that is the basis for some of you in regards to uh, a relationship this week. Some of you are divided. There's a lot of family, siblings. They have something to say about this situation. Some of you are resting on some of some learned early childhood uh, issues, you know, um, you want to come away from that. You want to start making your own decisions. You're eager, you're ready, you're energetic to take a new stance or someone's doing this with you. The words are very telling and they're very sharp, blunt, cutting. They're straight to the point. Either this person feels as if they're losing you, which is something of value, or vice versa. You feel like you're you're cutting out something that you did value at one point. Uh, but right now, you, you have to do, you're in that pruning stage. It's not working for you. You don't see it moving to the Ten of Pentacles ever. So this is about, you may even be getting advice and help from yeah, friends, family, siblings, people surrounding this connection, this relationship, maybe even another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. Um, yeah, this could be a marriage. This could be some contract. This could be, a, yeah, a particular relationship. Okay, so what's the energy for another set of Cancers? Wow, that popped out. King of Cups, somebody's maintaining balance emotional balance uh, practicing a whole lot of maturity understanding that things will come to fruition for them because they've done the work yeah um, resting and dwelling and in trying to take things to another level to maintain a certain status or get to a status ten of swords yeah this is a person trying to and a certain coming out of the betrayal, the hurt, the pain, the ending, and moving forward. Salvaging a relationship. This is a, a Cancer who's going to salvage a relationship, maybe with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I mean, we've got all signs here. So this is a Cancer who says, I'm not going to take on the energy of the other person I'm in a relationship with. I understand that success and prosperity is meant to be had with this person, uh, but they're all over the place.
The hard times in this relationship can be and will be over. A wealthy partnership, a healthy and wealthy partnership will come together for some particular cancer. Just hang in there. Uh, be strong in dealing with this person. Keep putting the energy, effort, time into this. Some of you will be communicating with this person, um, not face-to-face, -face, about how you guys can compromise and salvage the relationship. Uh, because even though there are things unknown here, the cancer is finally admitting to themselves, or maybe the other person is not admitting to themselves that this relationship, these feelings that they have for a particular person are stronger than they have let on or than they have ever expressed. Right, then the Prince of Cups comes out. Right. Cancer knows that either about another person, how they feel about you or vice versa. You feel that way about another person. This person wants, they may be planning Wow, they may be planning to come to you and propose something. So for some cancers, we have a definite ending. For some cancers, we have a, a reconnection, or a salvaging of a, of a connection, of a relationship. Wow, and then the four wands at the bottom of the deck. Soon's going to come together, maybe with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Let's get some advice here and close this out for the week. I hope that it's resonating with if not all um, some of my cancers for those who are closing out relationships and situationships and business contracts and all of those things marriages what do you have to say for that cancer okay a year from now all right so you have a timeline maybe your life will look different a year from now one more card romance okay um, maybe a year from now, you'll have some real true romance. Maybe right now it's tough. It's hard. It's, uh, it's emotional upset. For the cancers who are trying to salvage a relationship, communicate clearly, right? This, these two just fell out. Let go. Right. And in the near future, it looks like this all comes together for the Kansas who are trying to salvage the relationship. A year from now, you'll have romance for those who are going through some tough, tough times, maybe with an ending here. Uh, I'm going to pull one butterfly oracle card for the two sets of Kansas. You can have what you want in a particular relationship, cancer, maybe with, go with what resonates, not with what you want. If you know that there is an impending ending, then don't say, okay, yeah, I can salvage this. If you know that it needs to be over, if you know that this person wants it to be over, if you know that you want it to be over, that you may be divorcing or separating, then that is what is going on here. Okay, so don't try to interchange these two. I don't know, I felt led to say that. Okay, for you, to, for this cancer, it's leaving and memories. I think that's what keeps you there. Memories. Cancer is can get stuck in that past. Cancer, slap yourself. Next time you start thinking about the past and thinking about the good times, just, just go ahead and slap yourself and say, oh, no. And then, and then focus on leaving. Some of you are leaving a situation behind. Or someone's leaving you. Whatever it may be, it's been happening for a long time. This isn't spur of the moment, out of nowhere, I'm packing a bag and I'm never coming back. This is for a particular cancer. Um, it's been happening. Grief work. Some of you, you, you might need to go to counselor. Uh, therapist, tarot card reader, psychic, whomever you feel, get some womanly, um, manly advice in regards to your relationship, doing the grief work, really allowing things to heal within a connection here for some of you who will be salvaging a relationship. One more card for the Kansas who are salvaging relationship. 
Volunteer. Volunteer. Volunteer how you feel. No one should have to pull teeth in regards to trying to figure out how it is you feel about the relationship. Cancer, I hope that it resonates with you, for you. I hope that everything turns out in your favor. Uh, do pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys. All links are below, okay, if you want to book your own personal reading there. Take care.